hello guys you're welcome back to tv Alpha channel thank you for liking for subscribing for your comments and if you are watching for the very first time please like and subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comment section in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to draft a basic bodies block this is a foundation in fashion designing this video is very simple easy and straightforward without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> So I have my pattern paper, I also have my measurements which I'll be using. I have these markers, my straight and curve rulers, I have my tape rules and my scissors. These are the things I'm going to be using in this video. The very first thing to note is our body's measurement. I'm going to be using my body's measurements in this video and I'm also going to show us how to take your body's measurement let's say for instance this, this is my body and i need to take the measurement i'll first of all need my tape rule to take my measurement and i'm using a tape rule that is in both centimeters and in inches i'll be taking these measurements in centimeters this is my shoulder tape what i'm going to do is to place my tape rule along my shoulder line to, to measure my shoulder length and after taking my shoulder length measurement the next thing i need to Take is to take the vertical measurement of my bodies from my shoulder point at that angle to my breast point and I need to take it straight down to where my waist is the tiniest part of your body is your waist then I'll take it straight down to where my hip is if you want to measure your hip measurement after taking the vertical measurement of our bodies what i need to take next is to take my back length measurement i we have our front waist length measurement and we also have our back waist length measurement so i'm going to take my back waist length measurement from the tip of your neck down to your back waist then i want to take my across back I'm going to take it from one edge of my armhole. It's not going to enter your armhole to the other edge of my armhole. That is how to take your cross back. And the next measurement is to take our cross chest. Just like the way we took our cross back, that is how we take our cross chest measurement. And after this, I'm going to be taking my bust circumference. I'm making sure that my tape goes around my exact bust measurements out adding any hints then i'll go ahead to measure my round waist too without any hints also i'm going to hold the tape firmly i'm showing also that you will know that this is exactly how to take your body measurement then i'll go ahead to measure my round hip in like manner the last measurement i'm going to be taking is my nipple to nipple point or my bust to bust point these are the measurements you will need when drafting your basic bodies block. I'm going to be using just one single pattern paper to draft because I'm of average height. But for people that are bigger, you need two of these. You don't completely need two full paper, but you need maybe like one and a half of it. You're just going to measure the length from your shoulder point to your hip lengthwise. Then you are going to measure your hip divided by two plus some few centimeters or inches cut it off then join it together with your masking tape and you are good to go but for me i'm just going to be using this single pattern paper the first thing i need to do is to roll some other lines which i use as my guidelines in drafting after rolling my border lines i'll just go ahead to label the hand zero to indicate that that is where you you start drafting from then i will go ahead to measure my vertical measurement along the vertical lines the very first thing i'm measuring is my bust length which is 25 centimeters you can convert it to inches then i'll go ahead to measure my back waist length not my front waist length my back waist length is 37 centimeters and for my hip measurement i will come down to my back waist length to measure 22 to 23 centimeters that is how i get my own hip measurement if you want to do yours you can just measure directly from the edge of your pattern paper just downward like so to get your hip measurement but for me 
I used between 22 and 23 centimeters while for taller people I use between 24 to 25 centimeters there are exceptions that I use your hip length then I'm going to take this across to the other side of the pattern paper mark the same exact measurement and rule to join both sides together then I will label my first line as my bust line, the second one as my waist line, while the third one is going to be my hip line. The next thing for me to do is to calculate my chest line or my armhole line measurement. And how do I do this? This is where my across back and across chest comes in. I use this in calculating this. For some people, they use their bust divided by six plus some centimeters or inches some use their hammer divided by two but for me i use my across chest for my front and my across back for my back i am lucky that both of my across chest and across back is 39 for some busty people their front is always higher than the back so what i'm going to be doing is to divide 39 into two and once i divide 39 into two i'm going to be getting 19.5 centimeters then because of my shoulder slope i'll be adding 2.5 centimeters and this is going to give me 22 centimeters i'm going to mark this at both front and back of my pattern and rule a line across and that is going to be my handhold line or my chest line what i'll be doing next is to mark my across back and my across chest divided by two along my border lines and my armhole line i said earlier that both my across back and my across front are 39 centimeters so this is very easier for me to do i'm going to mark both along my border line and my armhole line then connect together and i will also take this measurement to the other side of my pattern paper to do exactly what i did for the first side and i'll go straight ahead to mark my neck with which it is 7.5 centimeters it is the standard in inches it is three inches and also mark my neck depth of 2.5 centimeters in inches it is one inch and i will rule lines across to connect these together in a rectangular form then go to the front part of my pattern paper to mark my neck width of 7.5 centimeters like i did for the back then the depth of the front neck is usually longer than that of the back neck so i will also be marking 7.5 centimeters for my front neck depth connect together in a rectangular form then go ahead to use my hammer connect the curve lines of the neck then the next thing for me to do is to mark my shoulder length of 13 centimeters but before doing that i'm going to come down for my shoulder slope by 2.5 centimeters for the back and for the front i'll be coming down by 3.5 centimeters and from the neck point i will go straight to measure my shoulder length of 13 centimeters like so using my straight ruler to measure this in a slanted form for the back and this is what i'm also going to be measuring for the front shoulder length 13 centimeters for both back shoulder length and front shoulder length then the next thing i'm going to do is to find the midpoint between those lines from my shoulder point line to my arm hole line i'm going to find the midpoint you measure whatever you have there find the midpoint and mark both of the midpoint lines then afterwards for the front midpoint line you go in by 1.5 centimeters for your front midpoint line this is all that you need to do the next thing for me to do is to impute my bust measurement divided by four along my armhole line and my hip measurement divided by four along my hip line my bust circumference is 92 centimeters i will divide 92 centimeters by four plus 1.5 centimeters which is going to give me 24.5 centimeters that is my bust divided by four plus 1.5 centimeters will give me 24.5 centimeters for my hip circumference also i'm going to divide it by four and go ahead to add 1.5 centimeters into it my hip divided by four plus 1.5 centimeters will give me 27.5 centimeters i'm going to 
mark this along my hip line after marking this on my hip line i will take my arm o curve to connect both of my arm o line from my shoulder point to the midpoint to my bust measurement divided by four i am going to connect both the front and the back measurement together then go ahead to connect from my arm o line to my hip line with a straight ruler now i can say i have a dark place basic bodies and the next phase i'm going to take you through now is to shape and through my pattern waist and give it a fit earlier when i was taking the body's measurements i took my front waist length and my back waist length these are different because for the front waist length is usually in most cases longer than the back waist length and so i'm going to be showing us how to true a front waist length my front waist length is 38 centimeters while my back waist length is 37 centimeters when you measure your front waist length you will discover that what you have here is your back waist length not your front waist length because you drew all the way from your back pattern to your front pattern let's say for instance my body front waist length is 40 centimeters and when i measure what i have on my pattern paper i have 37 centimeters what do i do i will deduct what i have on my pattern from my body front waist length then mark it there if i have three centimeters for instance i'll mark it there then go to that side divide that three centimeters into two and mark it at that other angle go to that other side mark whatever i have there on that angle that is the way you just threw your waist but for me i have 38 centimeters just have one centimeter difference from my waist length so i marked my one centimeter at the front then go to both sides to mark 0 0.5 centimeters and just threw a straight line in a slanted form to connect to my back waist line that is simple as it is and that is how you threw your waist line so that after sewing and you put on your outfit it will sit exactly on your front waist and it will sit exactly also on your back waist so i now have my true waist line which is no more my pattern waist the line on green is my true waist line so my body does not have a shape or that and the next thing for me to do now is to impute my dart and to shape my waist so that it will fit exactly to my body my actual waist measurement is 74 centimeters that is my body waist measurement that is the circumference of my waist and for my pattern waist is bigger than my body waist measurement what i'll just do is to go ahead to measure what i have at the front bodies whatever i have at the front bodies i'm going to note it down i have 25.5 centimeters for the front and for the back i'll go ahead to measure and also note it down and i have 25.7 centimeters for the back then i'm going to go ahead to divide my actual waist measurement of 74 centimeters by two it's going to give me 37 centimeters and i will add my pattern waist measurement for both the bodies and the back that is 25.5 centimeters plus 25.7 centimeters this is going to give me 51.2 centimeters i'm going to subtract this from 37 centimeters that i have left after dividing my actual waist into two after subtracting it i have 14.2 centimeters so this 14.2 centimeters is the excess on this waist pattern that i'm going to be removing the first thing i'm going to do is to mark my nipple to nipple point you can measure your nipple to nipple point and mark it but for me i'm going to be using my across chest and my across back measurements to get my nipple to nipple point my across chest and back is 39 centimeters i will go ahead to divide this into four and mark whatever i have at my front and my back waist for my dart impute then i go up by 11 centimeters for my dart leg for the back some people go higher than that then come down by 13 to 15 centimeters or more for the front i'll also go up by 11 centimeters but make sure your dart does not get to your bust point then come down by 13 or more centimeters for my dart leg after imputing the dart legs what i will do is to go in by two centimeters at that angle 
for my back slope because our back is not straight so that when you sew your zip along that line it will sit smoothly along your back line and slant it like so towards my neck then use my hip curve to curve it this is my back slope the next thing i'll do is to take in for my that one centimeter at both sides of my dart legs then connect together i'm using one centimeter each at both sides of the dart legs and for the front darts i'll be using two centimeters each at both sides of the dart making four centimeters i will mark two centimeters each then connect all these together to form my front dart so now I have my back that, my front that. Just to do a quick recap, I have two centimeters for that and I took one, one centimeters to mark that that. For the front, I took two centimeters each. All these that that I took in sum is eight centimeters. So when you deduct eight centimeters from 14.2 centimeters, it's going to give you 6.2 centimeters. It is with this 6.2 centimeters that I'm going to be using to impute my side waist shaping. I will go ahead to divide the 6.2 centimeters into two, which is going to give me 3.1 centimeters. If you want to cinch your waist at this angle, you can go in more than the answer you got. Then I'm going to mark my 3.1 centimeters at both sides of my body. Then with my ruler, just rule up to my ham hole and use my hip curve to connect to my hip. But for the front part of the bodies i'm not going to start from my hample measurement because i want to preserve my bust measurement i don't want to take anything from my bust measurement so i'm going to connect from my waist to below my bust then use my hip curve to connect from my hip to my waist so i have my center front i have my side front i have my side back and my center back this is the front basic bodies then i have my back basic bodies the next thing for me to do is to measure round my arm hole because I'll be using it to draft my basic sleeve in my next video. So I'm just going to go around to measure what I have for both my front and my back arm hole and I'm going to note them down like so. After noting this down, the next thing for me is just to go ahead to cut the pattern paper so that we can see the way it looks like. So this is the finished work of the basic bodies blog. It's very simple and easy to draft. So if you take your time to draft this and in my next video, I'm going to be using this block to draft my basic sleeve using the ham hole measurements that I have on this pattern. So it is essential to watch this video to the end. And we've come to the end of the video. I hope this video was not too so boring for you and not too so long. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Please like and subscribe if this is your first time you are viewing this video or this is your first time you are seeing my channel. And in my next video, I'm going to be showing us how to draft a basic sleeve using these basic bodies. Till next time, see you. Bye-bye.